Hi everyone, I just got my new um, toy in yesterday, the cinch, and I've been waiting for it. I ordered it back in May, and I know they're just shipping them out, so I just got it yesterday, and I've been excited and waiting for it, and so I wanted to share with you what I have done with it so far. Let me get this out of the way. Anyway, I we're getting ready to go on vacation next week, and I wanted a little journal just so I can jot down some, um, you know, little special moments from the each day or something. Not really, um, not an art journal, that's for sure, and not a scrapbook. Just something to jot down little things. Um, we're taking a couple of our grandbabies with us, and so just little cute little things that they do or say or, you know, places that we go, and. So this is what I came up with. Um, what I did is I just um, got one of the um, watercolor uh, paper pads and I cut it in half. And then I used the cinch to bind it. I had bought these um, binding rings by Zetter and it's for the bind it all. And I think these are the half inch. Well, um, it didn't work very well with the cinch they're too small so I think with the cinch it should be at least um, I'm not sure if it's one inch or but anyway um, I made it work but I probably wouldn't buy those again so anyway what I did was um, I went ahead and bound it here and I had my case sera sera paper pack 12 by 12 paper pack that I had bought a while back and I hadn't used it um, I don't know what I was holding on to it for. Sometimes I like to hoard my things. But anyway, um, I have, was looking through my scraps because I had done a couple of pages. And I had used some and I was looking through my scraps. And this is um, kind of what I was going for. I know, you know with the art journaling you have your layers. And I wanted to achieve this and I wasn't really sure how. And we're leaving on Wednesday. So I didn't think I had enough time to really um, put anything together. So I kind of cheated on this. What I did was um, I got each of the pages and I cut them out to fit this. And I just covered each of the pages with um, some of the paper. And what I plan to do is on each one of them is get the gesso. And gesso an area which could be kind of like uh, my journaling spot. And then I cut out some images. I did some stamping. Like this is um, said my big adventure, which I marked out and put our big adventure, and some little clouds. And what I can go back and do later is um, once we go on our trip and I do my journaling, I can go back and either um, stamp over it or add stickers. I also have the little um, pieces that were left over which they have some really great images like this octopus here or the flowers um, this fish here um, some stamps you know got some fish that I can go back and cut out and um, mod podge or add some dimensionals or whatever I think will go well but each of the pages is covered with um, the Kesara Sara paper and they're not edged or anything. What I started to do in the front was um, distress it. And that was taking me too long. I don't have the distress at all. So I think what I'll do is when I'm um, on vacation, I'm going to look for that. And But anyway, what I plan to do on each one is make sure they each have uh, a journaling spot. I also have the K Sara Sara die cuts that I can add to it. I can... Um, glue them on or whatever and it was just um, something like I said to jot little memories down and it's not um, an art journal it's just little um, you know I just wanted it to be cute I, I liked the layered look that these pages have all the different layers on them and like I said I covered the whole um, book with these papers and I'm excited to go back later and do our journaling and before I leave I'll just make sure each one has a journaling spot then I picked out just some little things that I thought I could take with me 
you know, these little um, journaling spots as well and things that um, we can add to it like these, maybe glue some of these on, and little rub-ons um, with the turtles and borders and stuff. I'm going to take some of my um, stamps, my travel stamps, and probably just a little glue stick or something, you know, something that we can work on in the evenings, have my grandbabies um, add to it. And just, I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be... Um, the girls will have fun working on it and so then this is the back the back is chipboard but the front cover is um, grunge paper that I covered with the Kesarasara paper I cut this out it looks sort of like a hinge or something for the door and it says destination unknown and it's one of my seven gypsies stamps and I cut this butterfly out and I added glossy accents and then I edged um, the edge of the cover with um, my pitch back black um, Adirondack paint dabber. So, like I said, I, I cheated, but it's I needed something quick, something that that we could take with us on Wednesday when we leave, and I think it'll be fun to add some different layers to it um, on the trip uh, in the evenings when I get back. I can still add some more, and it'll be a way to have um, some of our little memories and jot them down. We won't forget those cute little things that the kids say or cute little things that happen on the way. So anyway, um, this is just a simple little project and I think it'll be cute and it'll, it'll work for what we're needing. So anyway, I'm excited to have my cinch and couldn't wait to do something with it. So anyway, there's a little project that, that I think will, will be fun to work on. So anyway, um, Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.